region. But let's go to Mount 7, where some residents there are calling on authorities to halt the construction of a few of uh, stations there. The residents say the construction has disrupted water supply to their homes for one whole month. The assemblyman for the Trouble Electoral Area, Mandela Riafe, says the area where the construction is ongoing was reserved for the expansion of the roads there. But owner of the facility says he obtained genuine permits to go ahead with the project. Max Olagbaba has more. Some of the residents we've been interacting with here say they've not had water for close to um, one month and say the situation gets um, terrible by the day. They have to spend um, some of their scarce resources um, on getting water from some water tankers. I've been interacting with the former um, tax force coordinator here at the Gang West Municipal Assembly, Nicholas Rocky. He says all attempts to get the owner of um, this um, structure to stop um, the construction of the filling station here has proven futile. We got to know that they are going to build filling station and they got permit. But the area, if you see from your back, from T Junction, is right down to the old PCFM. The road is there. I have the plan, the layout. You can see it. You see the main pipeline passes through the land. Now they are intent to move the main line to the other side of the road. It was last Saturday, last Saturday after the key fit work here, the members of the waterways came to lock the pipe here. Because their intention is to move the main from here. If you can see there's water flowing, leaking, but they close the pipe from here. It's this particular issue concerning the new plot they are going to build a uh, filling station. The resident, including myself, we are not going to allow it because it's for future projects. If you allow the assembly, we'll be selling uh, the government property. By a few days, some of us will go. We will go to our, uh, our grave. Then what about our children? I've been speaking to the assemblyman for the Trouble electoral area, Mandela Riafi. He says the situation has become very unbearable for residents. He says there are actually plans to relocate um, major, some major pipelines um, that run through um, this, um, this place. He says um, that would compound the woes of the residents. As you can see, there's actually water dripping from some of the pipelines here. Perhaps enough for the residents for now, if they could just get it. About four days or so ago, I think Thursday, uh, I was invited at the district assembly. I happened to be the chairman for development and planning subcommittee. So I was, I was invited for a meeting concerning the same filling station. What the district is now saying is that we are not going to allow for the construction of a filling station on the government reserve. And so uh, if you look at the stretch, the man has his plot. It's about uh, three plots in. And I think he can use it for whatever he wants to do with it. But for the government reserve area, the district is saying that we are not going to allow. That is why you could see that all the construction exercises has been abruptly stopped. So we are waiting. And one of the requests that I placed before the district assembly during that meeting is that we should call for um, a public hearing so that the people, uh, the, the, the contractor or the company that intends to put up the filling station and the district engineers, all the authorities involved will come here and will come and listen to the plight of my people and then address the issues accordingly. If you look at uh, the permit document, you could realize that the permit was actually given um, somewhere around 2015 in the previous government and then we inherited it. Now we have Ghana North Municipal Assembly which has been drawn from Ghana West Municipal Assembly. So 2015 there about it was Ghana West which supervised all these uh, 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 areas but apparently we are now Ganoff Municipal Assembly, and we inherited all these issues, and we are trying to address them as such. For about a month and a half, my tap has not been flowing. The water that has been flowing consistently, just cease. 
And I hear it's because of a construction work being done here. And I think it's so bad. I'm a taxpayer. I pay what I pay regularly. I don't see why. I've been speaking um, to the Sowut Home District Manager for the Ghana Water Company Limited, Gifty Okriku. She wouldn't um, want to speak to us on camera, but she says um, the residents have not officially complained um, to her outfit. She says they got the complaint um, yesterday and they are moving in today to make sure that they fix the challenge. She says by Monday, residents living around Mile 7 and its environs should get water. Reporting for Joy News, Maxwell Agbaba. A lot of communities are expected to get water by Monday. And that, and that includes the village in Mangotide. But trust us to do the checks on Monday, both in Mile 7 and in Mangotide. Now